In this video, we're going to talk about Gunslinger Spawn Reborn. He is marked for vengeance and he's marking somebody for his vengeance. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Gunslinger Spawn, issue number 31, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Alright, so previously in Gunslinger Spawn issue number 30, Gunslinger Spawn's discovery that the enemies responsible for his sister's death are still alive which sets him on a new path of revenge, and he's marking their butts for vengeance. So before we go further into the issue, Gunslinger Spawn takes it back to Linda by telling this narration of a flashback. Now they do this narration of this flashback very creatively because you can't just have two people dialoguing about the past, you gotta give some kind of visual aesthetic and something pleasing to look at. So Gunslinger Spawn tells Linda, the girl that he recruited in the couple issues to go on his journey with them, he tells her that you deserve the truth, Linda, for all the kindness you've given me time you knew the kind of man you're dealing with then you decide what's best for you and she's like "Ooh, that sounds ominous should i be scared well maybe says gunslinger i'll leave that to your conscience so you want to know why we stopped at that building back there and this is going back to the previous issue in gunslinger spawn issue number 30 when he stopped at that building with that very weird looking sign very odd looking sign i thought it was something established previously but i couldn't find anything on it correct me if i'm wrong but comment below let me know so going back to the content here Gunslinger Spawn mentioned because I've met the men that owned that business and these were far from what you call gentlemen. In fact, they enjoyed taking advantage of others in a cruel way and a few of us that didn't abide by their methods, well, they didn't respond too kindly to the people that try to resist them. So yeah, so we get this all out gun war and going like a blast from the past for to speak with Gunslinger Spawn. So Gunslinger Spawn continues to tell her they try to mess with my family. You got family Linda? Don't you Linda? I do Linda says. We don't get along very well though. No matter, says Gunslinger Spawn, they're still your family. But these men, they tried breaking my family apart, and I wouldn't stand for it. And she's like, what they do? Try to foreclose on your house or pull a loan? Because she asked that question because, keep in mind, they're standing in front of a building. And Gunslinger Spawn's like, nah, none of that. They turned my sister against me. And she's like, I don't understand why would a business do that? Because they're run by outlaws, not businessmen. And ain't one of them got a heart, far as I can tell. And this is a kind of cool set right here where they're blasting off a Gunslinger Spawn. They go empty and Gunslinger Spawn's like, okay, well, I'm about to blast back. And he goes empty too. So they're both empty. And Gunslinger Spawn says, and I wasn't about to let them push me around. In fact, I let them know personally what was on my mind. Like when guns run out, the knives come out. And Linda's like, okay, so how did they take it? Well, let's just say they weren't too pleased. How about that? So he walks up the stairs and these gunmen welcome Gunslinger Spawn, but not the kind of welcome that you want to be welcome with. Adios, cowboy. And when he went to where he thought that his sister Amy was there, nah, what he found was not Amy. He found out it was a trap. And Linda's like, a trap? Why would a business set a trap? Linda says, Javier, you're not catching what I'm trying to say. They didn't want my business. They wanted something else. And remember I said I had worse things happen to me than this wound I've got? Well, one of those worst things that was done by the snake that runs that establishment, he did things to me I wouldn't wish upon another person. And those eyes look like they mean to do some sinister stuff. His costume's in shock. We got one minute. So cut it open and then cut him open. Oh, with pleasure, boss. He lights up a stogie and they go to work. Tell me when, boss. And they're enjoying what they're doing to Gunslinger Spawn. And though that was some time ago, Gunslinger Spawn believes that the same man would do it all over again if he was given the same chance. Do what? Do what? What do they do to you? Did they do something bad to you, Javier? Says Linda. No, Linda says Gunslinger Spawn. They did something unimaginable to me and my sister. And you can see that they marked Gunslinger Spawn on his chest. They did that very same symbol that's marked on Gunslinger Spawn's chest that was marked on the building in the previous issue. And Gunslinger Spawn's like, that is something that still haunts me to those day. Well, did those men ever pay for what they did to you? No, not that day, says Gunslinger Spawn. But they will. I promised my sister that. Well, if they trapped you, then how'd you escape? Oh, yeah, we do want to know. But Gunslinger Spawn's like, nah, girl, that's a story for another day. But I need to know if those men are still in there, still hurting folks. But before I do that, I think it's best if you can help me find a friend of mine. Oh, of course. And keep in mind, Gunslinger Spawn's hurt. So what friend he's talking about, they got to go to the Wahia. So hours later, Wahia's like, okay, your wounds should have been attended to them sooner. And Wahia tells Gunslinger Spawn is, you can't act like you still got your powers, all right? That kind of thinking will get you killed. And Gunslinger Spawn's like, yo, man, I didn't come here for no sermon, all right? Just do what you need to do. Well, you in my house, and when you in my house, you in my rules. 
And while he is like, you don't seem to understand that, it can't get through your thick ass head. Either way, he goes on to his treatment. He tells Javier, don't move, this might hurt, but I got you covered. So what happened over here? And Gunslinger Spawn's like, well, the angels, they got the jump on me. So they ambushed me. And plus, I don't think Gunslinger Spawn wants to tell him the events of Spawn issue number 350 with the dead zones. And he ain't got no powers no more. But maybe he already knows that. So while he is like, you're healed, that's it. Let the healing take a hold. Rest. Though I sense you got other things in mind. <laughs> and Gunslinger Spawn does. Taylor, I need to talk to him. Well, he's not here. He left days ago. What? Says Gunslinger Spawn, he was hurt. It was his choice. And you just let him go? That like just like that? That boy ain't got no place to go. Not in his condition. And while he is like, then maybe you shouldn't have abandoned him. He needed you. So this is on you. You're the one that left him. Now this woman, you're going to bring her into my house too? And you're going to bring her into your mess? She know your secrets? So Gunslinger Spawn's like, secrets? Let's talk about that. McKinnon, you know he was still alive and you didn't tell me. You weren't ready. You're still too emotional. You're damn right I'm emotional, says Gunslinger Spawn. You know what they did to Amy, right? You do know. And while he is like, I do, but why drag this woman into it? I make my own decision, says Linda. No one forced me to be here. And in case you give a crap, my name's Linda. You ready to go, Javier? She's pissed. And Javier is like, oh yeah, I'm ready for that smoke. So she asks Javier, I need to ask you something. You guys talked about someone named Taylor. Who is he? Your friend? Did you abandon him? Is that true? And Gunslinger responds like, in a way, yes. I had things to do when he was sick. And he's a kid who got caught up in some family problems that didn't end too well. And that's because his dad was working for Angels while Gunslinger Spawn was duking him out. And that's going back to issue number two. And his father and, and Taylor had a pretty severe falling out. But you can check out Gunslinger Spawn issue number two if you want a refresher on that. So Linda's like, so where did he go? Don't know, says Javier. But he was helping me find those who hurt my family. So he didn't tell you where he was going? So Gunslinger Spawn was like, no, he didn't. But you mind if I ask you something? What would you do if someone hurt your family? If someone killed them and you knew who done it, would you want revenge? Well, I suppose, says Linda. I guess I hope the courts would too. No, no, I don't want, I'm not talking about the courts, says Gunslinger Spawn. I'm talking about you. Not the law. Would you seek revenge? Me? Personally, says Linda? No, of course not. And Gunslinger Spawn's like, well... That's what makes us different. That building we stopped at, you said it has something to do with money, but I don't know much about that, but you do. This is where I could use your help. Think about it while I go relieve myself. Okay, well, we'll drive over there, says Linda. So Gunsinger Spawn goes in the bathroom and speaking of relieving, he's relieving all those weapons in his duffel bag, closes it up and Javier lets his mind race one last time as he finishes packing his cash. All right, then let's go. It's going to be a great thing. So they go to the business, they go to the bank and this girl who we don't know of, I don't know if she has anything to do with that woman on top of the panel right there, but she greets him and asks if there's anything that she could do for them. And Gunsinger Spawn is like, that's exactly what I'm hoping you can do. So we don't know what's going to go down, but something is going to go down. It has something to do with Gunslinger Spawn being reborn and he's marking somebody for vengeance. And that is the end of Gunslinger Spawn issue number 31. What you guys think of this comic book? Comment below. Let me know. Also, link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art. Support the industry. Lastly, this video is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.